So today on May 7th, Bethesda just released one of their most anticipated downloadable content to come in Fallout 76. Besides, you know, of course, the legendary vendor that's supposed to be coming shortly after this on May 16th. Anyways, this patch is called Ever Upwards, and within this patch there will be new quests, challenges, events, rewards, a new currency, and even a new trading system. There is a whole lot of new that came into this. I don't even know where to start, honestly. It's crazy how fast they are updating this game with more to do. Like, I haven't even got all the specific rewards that we can get from the Sheep Squatch event yet. They are adding so much into this extremely fast. It's going to feel like a completely new game a year from now, no doubt in my mind. Especially when they add in private servers for us to play with mods on. Now, things are going to be getting really, really interesting then. Not exactly sure when those will be coming, though, but private servers and mods are confirmed to be coming into the game at some point. Anyways, I guess for this new update, I'll start with the new player vending machine. Since this is probably one of the most interesting new aspects that we got within this downloadable content, and the reason why is because this is a complete game changer. Like, this completely changes up the economy in a good way. I guess I'll start with the new player vending machine, since this is the reason why a lot of players were excited about this update to come. This player vending machine is a complete game changer for Fallout 76. Okay, so first things first, we're going to have to be at our camp. And once we are here, we're able to craft it. As you can see, it's going to require three steel and five wood. Craft it wherever you please. We're just going to have to hook up some wiring to it. Just so it's actually active. As you see, it's currently off at the moment. Which, what this means is, I mean, you can technically still set up your shop here. Like, you know, putting things in that you want to sell and pricing them. But it will not pop up on the map, such as, like, this person. That's my neighbor over here, as you can see. I can go visit this person's camp and they have 2,739 ammo that I could purchase as well as 18 plans over there. I think this is a really, really cool feature. This actually gets people to go visit people's camps. Makes more interaction around the game which will create more interesting experiences. As you can see this person has 6 weapons for sale, 4 drinks, 502 ammo, 1 explosive, 3 plans and 2 miscellaneous. As you can see, for instance, this person, Fallout fan, has two weapons, one mod, three stems, seven meds. I mean, you get it. This is amazing. Hands down, I gotta give Bethesda props. Like, this is completely game-changing for Fallout 76. Heck, comparing to any game alone, this is a really unique idea. If you haven't been on in a while, I highly suggest coming back on and just checking out this feature. It's really, really interesting. Okay, so now since we got our vending machine set up here, let's go ahead and sell a few things. In order to do that, you just gotta find something that you're willing to sell. I'll go ahead and put some stems up, I guess, since I have quite a bit of them here. I'll sell 50 of them. My camp is full. Oh, okay. At least we learned something from that. I tried placing 50 stems, which equals up to 50 weight, and as you can see, I only have 22 more weight available in my stash. Now I can just go over to my stash technically and just sell some things out of here if I wanted to. Like I could sell one of these adrenal reactions by withdrawing it and then set quantity as one. And now I'll go ahead and sell it. Which by the way, in case you're wondering, can players see your stash? No. They'll only be able to see what you have chosen. Yeah, you can see your stash from the vending machine, but other players won't be able to. But yeah, I'll go ahead and set this for a thousand caps. Also, I'll sell... Hmm, I'll sell 15 stems, yeah. And I'll sell them 10 below their value of 40, so 30 caps a piece. Yeah, alright, cool. I got that up for sale now. Nice. So, in order to get this highlighted now on the map for other players to see it, we're going to have to do a bit of wiring to it. So what you're going to have to do, in case you don't know how to do that, is go to power connectors and go down to a power conduit and you're going to want to place one. As you can see, I already have one set up here. And yeah, just take the wiring to this power conduit that's on top of this vending machine. And that should make it so we will appear on the map, as you can see. We are now highlighted. It says I am selling one miscellaneous and 15 stems. And as you know, that miscellaneous was that adrenal reaction mutation serum. So, yeah, that's how you do that. That's a really interesting feature that came with Ever Upwards. Another feature that was a complete game changer that was added within this update can be found at all train stations. And that is this legendary exchange machine. As you can see, here's what it looks like. It looks really unique. 
honestly reminds me of the grinder from Borderlands. Anyways, how this works is by taking your legendaries that you don't want and exchanging them for a certain currency. As you can see, this is the kind of currency that we can get. And this currency is what we're going to be able to use with the new legendary vendor that will be introduced to us on May 16th, which I am extremely excited to see that. Also, you can notice a little difference with the stars too in this update. That's a minor change, but I thought that was something interesting to point out. Anyways, yeah, just wanted to share this with you all in case you were stocking up on legendaries. Well, now you can officially sell them at this legendary exchange machine. There's also a whole new quest line, like I mentioned before, challenges and events as well. And you can start this quest line by going over to the Pioneer Scout Camp, which is located up here next to Grafton Dam, as you can see. It's right here. Okay, so once you get up here, it's otherwise known as Camp Lewis, there's some other new features to check out at this area. Starting with these vending machines right here. The items that are sold in here are bought with the new currency that we can get within this update. And the new currency are badges. As you can see, this is the most expensive thing that's sold within this vending machine, the Pioneer Scout hat. But yeah, you can also get the shorts, the skirt, a Pioneer Scout banner, a Pioneer Scout plant poster, a Pioneer Scout sleeping bag, and US flags clean. Now I'm not exactly sure what all of that looks like currently, but I may make a future video over everything that you can get within this. I'm not exactly sure quite yet, but typically I do that over every update that comes within Fallout 76. So far anyways. Over in this vending machine, as you can see, there is even more that's sold within this. And this will require possum badges. The other one required tadpole badges, and you can tell by looking at the very bottom of their selection. As you can see, it says redeem your tadpole badges for these items. And for these items, it says redeem your possum badges. But yeah, what's sold in this vending machine are the backpacks. Honestly, I was pretty confused on where these were. But as you can see, this is where they are sold at. As you can see in this vending machine, you can get a Pioneer Scout hat possum. You can get the possum shorts, the possum uniform, backpack armor plated mod, backpack high capacity mod, backpack insulated mod, Backpack Left Lined Mod, Backpack Refrigerated Mod, Pioneer Scout Banner Possum Plan, Pioneer Scout Possum Backpack Plan, Pioneer Scout Stash Box, and a Pro Snap Deluxe Night Vision Lens. The most expensive ones that you can purchase from here are worth eight, as you can see, Backpack High Capacity Mod, and Backpack Refrigerated Mod. So keep that in mind if you're trying to save up to purchase some things. Which, speaking of, how you can get these badges is by going to your challenges, which is located right below the Atomic Shop, go down to World, and then just head all the way down to where the badges are. As you can see, we have the Tadpole Archer, Athlete, Codebreaker, I mean, you get the point. This is how you earn the Tadpole badges, by completing these challenges here. And they are no walk in the park, because the exams can be kind of tricky. I will be giving you the answers to three different exams. Keep in mind though, not every exam is going to have the exact same answers, but for the most part, they are pretty similar. As you can see, you do have to pass the knowledge exams within these challenges. So the ones that I'm going to be showing you are Archer, Athlete, and Swimmer, real quick. I have been authorized by, well, myself, to welcome you to the Pioneer Scouts. You have joined the ranks of the most patriotic and perpetual.
Okay, so there you guys have it, 100% to three different exams. If the footage went too fast at all, you can always just rewind it and pause it at certain parts just so you can read it and be sure you're getting the correct answer on the certain exam. But yeah, you can take these exams inside this building here at the Pioneer Scout Camp. It's literally labeled outside that this is the Pioneer Scouts exam place. So it really isn't all that difficult to find. Also keep in mind, I'm not gonna be going over everything that was in this update, but another thing that I wanted to point out is talking to the scout leader, Jaggy at Pioneer Scout Camp, right outside of the Pioneer Scouts exam building. When you talk to it, you will be rewarded a Pioneer Scout uniform, depending on whether you're a female or a male. If you are a female character, you will be rewarded the skirt, and if you are a male, you will be rewarded the shorts, which they both look really good on the character model. Also, by talking to it, it will chain react other quests that we can do too, as you can see. And all of these will reward us with unique rewards, such as for one of them, we get insect mounts for completing it, and it is a repeatable quest these insect mounts we can place at our camp, which is pretty cool. There was so much added within this pad. It is absolutely insane. I'm loving it. But yeah, that's why we're wrapping up this video, everybody. Hopefully you found this enjoyable. And if you did, consider leaving a like. That's always greatly appreciated. And hey, maybe if you want, stick around and subscribe for more future Fallout 76 content. As always, though, that's totally up to you. I'm out of here, everybody. I would love to know what you all think about this new update if you dived into it yet. Until next time, though. Peace.